Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Comic Book Chat Show. I'm your host Lamoy McLean aka Sharsha. I don't know today we are going to do the unboxing of the green screen. I didn't know so we did not talk about the green screen for a long time and we get a Frontier Studio Kit. So we are going to do a little review on it while we are unboxing and definitely see. In the meantime, if this is your first time to the channel, please click the subscription link down below and also click like and always share. You too old. So guys, we're going to get into it and we're going to see how awesome this Frontier Studio is. I only paid $155.59 for it and I bought it on Amazon. I you know some car things in Jamaica, especially if the weight, you know, depending on where you're shipping and who you're shipping with, it comes at a different cost. So this costs me about, let's say, 200 in total and that covered the expenses of the shipment and bringing it into the country and custom so it was a good buy and uh, I don't I'm just so excited and elated to find out what it is that we're gonna get I did pull the box though when I show you guys I don't want you to think that this is how I got it I got it in a big box in a big carton box and um, yeah for the for the price I think that it is just good enough so let's see what you have to say remember subscribe all right guys so i got it in this box and um i opened the box just to see if everything was okay so we're gonna now take it out of the box so you guys can actually see what the bag looks like The bag itself is looking nice and beautiful. So we have some bulbs, you know, we're going to put them to the side. We like tripods, we don't know what is it. We know what is on the green screen. <laughs> Ta-da! And it feels good, it feels like a good quality. My word, my paragraph, my sentence is what is this? I see them give one quick reference guide. Let's see how much we can follow the manual. This is a tripod. This feel like something. This is something. More something. More tripod. And a lot of bulbs. More tripod bulbs for kill like legit and them other two boxes here so i don't know why not in it so i'm just gonna watch it all that thing <laughs> all right see the bulbs one two three four five six seven eight yes we get eight boxes of bulbs i want to take everything out of the back then because we want this too so now what is snow Woo! Look like one pogo stick. <laughs> it look like one pogo stick. Anywho, moving right along. More bulb, more bulb, bulb. Sitting there. Bag is empty. Uh -huh. So we're moving the bag to the side just like we did to the box. There's a lot of space. And we're just trying to get this done as quick as possible. 
this looks like a wally if I work with no real somebody for help so I'm going to try to say as much as all the money while I can't help Not much to go with. See there. Quick reference. I don't know what that is. Just four pump prayer. Um, we get this done. All right. I went out either one show or nothing, so we're gonna just set them and toss them to the side. Oh, people! This look like something I go on here. What we do wrong? But let us loose out something because the legs them supposed to be out. I don't want broke nothing. Let's see what's oh I see. You have to unscrew this thing to get the legs them all the way out. And I notice one thing, they have a bunch of washers in the in the middle of the I you think it's real small so you, well, you can't see it but with that washer it prevents you know the, the marking on the equipment so that is one point that's nice that's real nice all right so this is set i'm gonna put it to the side the, this one looks like it so we're gonna do this one all right remember guys twizzle it a little bit so we can get it to loose up and open oh and if you see it's not opening then i figured more than less that um it might be stuck because it happened to me in the previous one it has a little washer in between the knob and the this part of the tripod oh and ensure that it's it's tucked in real tight because it might fall down See a pole here this looks like a boom arm pole I think this goes on to one of the soft box and everything as you can see come in little plastic bags and little boxes so we have all these boxes that we don't know what to do with them but we know we can't throw them away because we have to have something to keep the stuff in safe so i would recommend that you keep them and you store them in some decent places unless you have some equipment that you can put this stuff in but keep them in the boxes for now i think they're fine here this is another tripod it looks the same as those two however it doesn't have the little thing on the top so I presume this this might be for one of the soft boxes. So let's untwist it. Oop. Oopsie! See that you can't twist it too far off because ooh, you have to be careful, guys, or else you will mash up your equipment before time. You don't want to use them strong arms here. Use the soft for spring time it comes to the equipment then that means that they will last longer right it will not be really wide <laughs> and this is just a fun at home territorial you know you know if if it actually helps you i want you to give us a thumbs up also subscribe to our channel right by clicking the notification bell down below and i'm all the way in jamaica by the way people so if you're wondering where I ship this from, I ship it from the US. Because it's normally nicer to ship these type of equipment from the, the, the US. One, it is a bit more um, convenient in terms of budgeting. And two, you have a whole lot of options in terms of what you want. This is tripod number three, tripod number four.
is so hot. Why? Wow, we're full of tripods. Let's open it up real quick because it comes like this. It's like it can go in so many shapes. It, it it's the height. When you pull it like this, it gets higher. So I mean, it can become unstable like, like this. So. I think you have to write this find the right setting where the balance is where, where there's a balance and just let that go smoothly. I think if it's too far then it, it becomes wider. That's what it is. So if you're in a smaller space then you really want it not to be so wide. And that's what I just realized. So this is number five tripod and I think we're running out of space. Alright, we have the boom arm here. Um we I need that to later. Huh? After what we do with them pole here. Wow. Four pieces. This is a really long pole, huh? Eh? And I almost put it on now. Uh, Mom, I don't know where to put this opponent. This taller than even my horse. Never double down. I really well. I don't think I'm not moving. It's not this bird. I think they're flexible, but not too strong, you know. And that is expected for the amount of money that you actually pay for the item. So it's it's not the greatest quality but it is it has some stability you know especially if, if it has some bags on it just remember all of the knobs has to be screwed properly else in production you will feel it and you know what is the greatest thing because i'm a wedding planner this can actually be used in one of my events. You can't think for that. So we'll have that down. What we want the next? Set up some lighting. And we like the bigger bags, so we'll work with that one here. The quality of the, of the, um, the soft box is really nice. Really feels good. Any others come like with the back on it. These are actually coming back, but I'm taking them out because I wanted to see what they look like when I threw the box initially. And uh, these are the rods for these ones. So these ones are a little bit different. The 
these are the lights. I remember these from the purchase when I looked at them. I realized that they had um, two dark boxes for, you know, for fill and key lights and then they had a headlight. So I think this is the this one that comes with everything inside of it already. I think this is the headlight. Is there a specific tripod for the headlight? Let's figure it out. I don't know. All of them look the same, but I guess all of them work the same. So I'm gonna set this up on the tripod first, and then we'll put in the light. But we really want to be careful with this one stand so I'm gonna just maybe use any tripod for the setup of this headlight. I to make some space. I really want to move this out of the way. Alright, so I've made some space. <laughs> How would them feel like? Are we as garrison, get a youth as them call me? Are we no for fuck place like Sadi? You ever going to get to Oman house yet? You ever realize how in there pack up a be a nice thing, uh, furniture, and that is one room? Or oh, we're going to Space there. We just have to find out to set up the stand. So, go put the stand on the bed. I got all, all this part work yet. Later on, we try to figure it out. But as for now, my sister, this can go up on top of this. It has stressed me out. Really stressed. Yes. Oh, now I see what this does. This actually moves this. And this one, I think, keeps it in place. So at the moment, I want it in place. I don't want the thing to get any taller. But how does the umbrella stay open? It's not even in the right position. Watch one, one territory or whatever I said. These supposed to go in these. I have to be very careful to people because um, they're supposed to go inside of some rod. The umbrella should pull them this way from there. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is not a one man job. Let me just put that disclaimer out there right now. But we're gonna try and do it as best as possible. There's a little pocket in there. I'm so hot. You have to put it in the back of the stocking. Alright, so I got that one. Let's see if I can grab another one. Oh, and it has two sides. If you notice, look real close. There is a sharp round side and there is like a long thin side that the thin side kind of go in the bottom. And the round side for the top. Well, that's what I did. Can you stick inside there? The tighter the umbrella actually is. Yes. Let's see if it's in the right direction. I have four bulbs. Okay, I'm supposed to tie it the material solid and nice, but you have to be real careful with it anyway. Four bulbs. Oh! I think I'm gonna take them out one. Let me take out all of them one time. Be careful, guys. Don't do this at all. Remember to undo the bulb from the bottom. Oh, guys, pull that in. Press that in real fast. Let me see. 
All right. So we got one light up. Let's put it to the side. Make it a little taller. We got one light working. The light is make, doing wonders for the room. I'm not seeing from uh, my angle from the camera what is happening. However, I know it just gives this, the room a beautiful bounce, um, fluorescent light. This, this is nice for what I pay for it. 159 bucks is not a whole lot of money. 200 dollars especially, not a like $20,000 change in Jamaica. So, see, uh, equipment like this, I definitely recommend it that if you're just starting out you can just definitely start out with one of the fan shaders and remember nobody sponsored me for this video i just decided to do um some reviews on the product and i can tell you some of the things that i noticed i noticed that if the knobs are not smooth properly um they'll fall off and the equipment will move down so you have to ensure that all the knobs are smooth in the precise place where you want it to be and I also realized that this, the, 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 the sticks are not so much sturdy so if, if you have what like sand, other sandbags are the ones that you that would go on the air light you can add it to the tripod to make it a little bit sturdier just in case you're outdoor shooting and that might be a bit windy so I would recommend that and do, would you guys want to see me um, setting up the rest of this stuff with you guys? I think it's really me. I think I'm, I've been going through a lot here and it's <laughs> going to take a little time for us to go through the whole lot of this so I think I'll just work through it and just come back and let you guys see what it looks like when we're actually going to try. So, I basically set up all of the stuff. So I can see here the space is so small. But we have to make everything cram just to show you guys what it is that we are doing. So I actually ended up finding an easier way to set up the soft box. Put it from the back. There are some pointers though. I didn't really figure out how to use the boom arm. How to set it up with this. It was a bit of a challenge. So I did it how I know to do it. It's uh, pointing a bit up. In the air if you see what I mean so with the boom arm it would have given it the, the cross like shape like the others because voila I found something else to do with it <laughs> I put my task cam on it so that's nice and I guess if you have other stuff like microphone camera and stuff if you want to put it on it not not camera but like my camera accessories like this task cam you can put it on the boom arm and you know your, your, your microphones and stuff so that is a good addition so what I want to do now is basically to show you the lighting that I got this is the hair light and it has a switch in the back of it and in order to get the lights adjustable we have to adjust the lighting on the camera as well it's not really perfect but we just want to show the light and then we'll go back to the proper camera settings that we were before. That one, which is on the soft box, the both of them has a click on the side. So one switch is for two bulbs and the other click is for two bulbs. This is the setup. Um, the light in them, we really have to go learn how to adjust them in order for film. However, I see it's really nice and uh, as I said, for the price that I paid for it, it's, it was worth the money. And I, I don't have any complaint as yet. I am actually elated, especially for my boom arm that I can now have something to attach my task cam to. I think it should go on the, the here, the headline. However, I haven't figured out how to put it on, but until then, I'll, I'll be enjoying it on this. However, oh, now I know you are all waiting for me to definitely get into the green screen segment so I'm going to just set up and show you guys how to just set up the green screen alright
think the fabric is a very good quality as well although this is my first grade screen so i really don't know what the quality of the material should look like however i see since as this is so tall i think i need to do a measurement i think i need to stretch it a bit taller So this is the green screen. Um, the only problem that I have is that I don't have the space to accommodate all of this. So I might have to cut it down a little bit to about this size. I might even get at least four green screen out of this to the size that I want it on to the production that we, we, we're working for because we don't really have a lot of use for this right now. So I think it is nice that we got all of this because there's a lot of material on the floor and this is just first and second up so whew, i have to basically pull down all of this now but i any any tips that i want to share be careful with the bulbs i mean the the umbrella which is a soft box it seems a bit you know um complex but as soon as you get it because the first one was hard for me but the second one was a bit easier i put in the the back and then i pointed them directly i found the old accord holes in the in the back of the light according to the socket so the socket is aligned exactly across like that in in in, in the two soft box so all you have to do is find where the socket align and you will actually find the hole under there even though it has a lot of holes either yeah so depend on, di different from the space everything all right so just pull down and as i said um the box is a bit um complex so as long as you understand it and you connect it with the socket then you're good to go all right guys i don't think there's anything else that i want to share the lights are awesome uh, for the price that we paid for it <laughs> Always remember to like and share. This is Lamar McLean on the Comic Book Chat Show, and I hope you enjoy this review of the Frontier Studio Kit. Bye bye.